are following breaking news out of Waukesha this afternoon that involves the upcoming Slender Man trials. A judge has ruled jurors hearing the case against both Anissa Wire and Morgan Geiser will be sequestered. George Mallet joins us from the newsroom with a closer look on that ruling. And Courtney and Charles, attorneys for both defendants had requested that the trials of Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire be moved to another county or that the jurors seated come from another county because of the plethora of pretrial publicity. Well, those requests were denied by the Waukesha County judge overseeing the cases. The juries will be local. Still, once those local jurors are seated, they will be sequestered, essentially locked away from the public and coverage of the case. Now, sequestering jurors isn't cheap. Hotel accommodations, meals, and incidentals will all be paid for by taxpayers and will add tens of thousands of dollars to the cost of the trials. Both Anissa Wire and Morgan Geyser were 12 years old when the vicious crime took place. Prosecutors maintained the pair lured a classmate into the woods, savaging her with knives before leaving her to die. The girl was able to pull herself out of the brush and onto a path where she was discovered by a passerby. She survived. After their arrest in what has become the headline-making element of this case, court documents say the pair told detectives they were seeking to impress the fictional Slender Man character. The trials are now slated to begin in September and October. Wire going first, Geyser second. Charles? All right, George, thanks. And we will have continuing coverage on the Slender Man ruling throughout our newscast and on our website, tmj4.com.